kits are convenient. Basically, it's a uh, turnkey solution right out of the box. Entry level, yes, but <laughs> the convenience is obvious anyway. Today we are reviewing, testing and comparing two sets of high vision IP intercom bundles based on two different uh, outdoor panels and with the same monitor uh, in between in the kit. Hikvision KIS603P and KIS604S. So what's the difference between them and uh, how is it convenient? And as Daniel, you're on the People System Store channel where we've got for you all that you might need for this video surveillance system, including this uh, intercoms, bundles, cameras, video recorders, and many else. And we begin. Subscribe to People Systems YouTube channel and get your special offer on every deal. So basically, what you get. The KIS603P kit includes the KV6130WTE1 door phone and the KH6320WTE1-W intercom monitor. The second KIS604S kit includes the KV8130WME1 door phone and the same KH6320 monitor. And all devices, uh, all three, support Wi-Fi. Since the only difference in sets lies in different outdoor stations, I think it's right to compare the outdoor panels themselves, and then we will go over the interaction of uh, both panels with the monitor too. All right, so uh, functional differences uh, between uh, start with the material. Plastic for the younger 6113, and, uh, and an aluminum frame with plastic inside for the 81. This indicates the protection of the body itself. Both panels are rated IP65, which indicates a complete dustproofness and the protection from rain, though not for a long time though. But due to such a body, in bigger 8113 there is a certain level of protection against external impact, which is IK08, which indicates the protection against impact with a force of 5 joules, equal to a fall of 1 and 7 kilograms from a height of 300 millimeters. Here we have Three indicators, there they are, against two at 61 door phone, and the ability to insert a name tag over here on the big one. The camera module on both models is 2 megapixel 1080p with a recording speed of 30 frames per second, with the same view angle of 129 horizontally by 75 vertically. And let's look at the difference in video quality, which in theory shouldn't be at all. And this is fair, I didn't set any video, I didn't change, I didn't modify anything. You get video straight from out of the box, uh, the quality it's supposed to be. Microphones 1 and 2, and speakers uh, 1 and 2 here. Both the phones have IR night vision elimination, located behind this uh, plastic here and here. Uh, both providing uh, around 3 meters of visibility distance. We also have BLC, DNR, WDR for both. And we've got uh, on edge the scanner for a MyFair RFID cards and one call button on uh, each. But with 8113, there are two more versions with two and four buttons. On the back, now let's see what we get. We have terminals, the power supply, and etc. Here's the micro SD card in the 61 model, and uh, here on the side for a a1 with a support for cards up to 120 gigs for both, as well as tamper buttons here and here. And now about the terminals and interfaces. Both panels support PoE, which makes them able to be powered uh, on and supplied with network by a single twisted pack cable from the switch or the injector to the RJ45 port. And uh, we reached in equipped matter, both panels support Wi-Fi 2 and 4G. Of the interfaces, there is a 485 interface for both, for alarm inputs, here and here, and there are ground-ground interfaces for locks, and the 12 volt power in, it's even separate in here. Uh, operating temperatures are the same for both door stations, from minus 40 to plus 55 Celsius. So, um, to summarize, the real difference lies um, in the body built itself, where the older model offers more protection, as well as more variations to choose from. Uh, it could, could either be one, two, or four call buttons. But in addition, the younger model only uh, can be only the surface installation assumed with this one, while the 8113 can also count on flush installation type. 
And also in the kit, well, for both panels, we have the same monitor, both, again. So, uh, you're here, seven inch touchscreen microphone here and the speaker here on the back. The Wi-Fi support on board, as well as the network via the twisted pair cable uh, to straight to the RJ45. Where well, you can also supply power due to the monitor uh, supports POE. Or you can get uh, 12 volts here, it's separate in here. Now, here's the uh, input for the microSD cards, up to 32 gigs. And uh, yeah, here are the terminals. On the right side, from bottom to the top. Ground, and then eight inputs for the alarm. On the left, we have a 485th interface, and then two interfaces for the locks. And um, all that remains uh, to showcase is the interaction with the monitor, uh, well, the uh, door stations with the user, and with the um, high connect uh, phone app. And uh, pff, it's all the same for both panels with the same monitors. So I, uh, I hope you don't mind that I show you it all this on one. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna set it all up, activate. So as you can see, devices are not activated, the same IFI empty high connect phone app so what i'm gonna do activate both devices from a scratch uh, the same concerning the uh, this one panel it's like literally identical process for them all so again showing on one because it will be just inconvenient to do it for both devices at once so activate it from scratch here from scratch here then i'm gonna uh, assign the correct ip addresses under my subnet for them both then i'm gonna go to pc to tie them opposite each other then i'm gonna enroll one user me and id my fair access card rfid and then i'm gonna output it all onto the high connect app on the phone so we'll begin this let's go from here this is awesome that we can uh with this second gen monitors activate the devices straight from the monitor here and i think this is uh, fantastic now uh, the magic button dhcp and there we have it now sip password uh, well from one moment it requires to make it and doesn't let you in anymore i think that's weird strange but whatever all right i don't need this one and auto search uh finds the uh, panel right here and you can see it's on inactivated so just press activate activation succeeded we'll wait till the status here updates so we refresh a few times activated all right now it's settings and of course we need to assign the correct ip address under our subnet which is 168 and 1. so what we do magic button the HTTP. we wait a few seconds till it figures it out well <laughs> the way it does all right, pressing OK, waiting just a bit and uh, spamming the refresh button until we see the desired result. No device found. Oh, great. <laughs> How come? How did this happen? Oh, yes. There we go. By the way, uh, uh, -huh, uh yeah, Th there we go. So you can see the correct IP address and activate it and we finish it. All right, so uh, what's gonna happen now? This one, the uh, outdoor station, the current panel gonna reboot to apply those new settings that we have just made for her. Then we'll be able to view it from here. Now we can just uh, stop. Oh, surprising. It doesn't reboot and we can already go. All right, so uh, isn't it nice? But also, we now gotta enroll the card. So, okay, yeah, from this moment you can uh, Oh, it's difficult. So you can live view it from right here. Hello, so you can see I'm doing it right now. Here's my face. Can open, can call, hello. Yeah, every time, that's correct, <laughs> it does that. All right, so, uh, and if it's, uh, come on, it's blocked, yeah. There's the button and get a call, can open, and can drop it. Fantastic. Now we need the computer uh, in order to, well, enroll this access card. So uh, we go to the IVMS. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to the uh, device management and from here, we're gonna find our device, which is, if I'm correct, under a 60, right? Okay, check that out now. All right, add 6113 admin and the password I've created, synchronized time. Okay, 
Wait, you are, oh yes, 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 it's just perfect. It's my one. All right, next thing, we're gonna also, it's important, add our monitor. So where is it? It's here, 246. Adding the same, 6320. And the password, there we go, synchronize time, will be perfect, add, great. Now, refresh it a few times. Trust me, you need to do this. All right, now we're going to be person tap in the IBMS 3200 in a high vision. Now we're gonna create the organization, which will be people uh, systems, of course. Go to our website, get some systems for you. All right, and now we're gonna add a first person in here, which will be me under uh, 01. It will be Daniel oh, with a normal A. Email, I don't care, phone, doesn't matter. Now the card. So here's my card. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna, uh, and I'll show you there. Here, I'm gonna go into settings. I'm gonna choose the device 6115. So as you can see, now uh, the thing is that this area is also a reader and it's kind of writer, so it's all right. We select it as the reading point, pressing okay, pressing read here, and now putting the card over it. And there we go. The card was read and we just press add. And there we go. We're all good. And also resident information. So you have to bend the device, exactly the monitor. So first floor, room, floor, it's required. You're obligated to do that in order to make everything work right. And bend device, 6320 monitor. All right, we press add. There we go. Fantastic. Now, the access control functionality. Uh, next step is access control. And here we need the authorization and the access group. Here we add a new rule or a template. So it will be just a basic general entry. Select the company, people systems, and there we have a one I person in there. And now we select the enrollment station, which is 6113 station. Great. We do this, save, and now we need to apply this to our device. So it's either apply to all or change or whatever. Press apply. What we do, uh, just now getting all the information right in there in our door station and all applied. And let me just show you now. So here's the card. So what I good, so what I do, oh, come on, do it like this. Push, the door is open. The door is open. Because the card is authorized. All right, now the uh, last thing we gotta do is to get this old thing in the uh, High Connect phone app. And it's surprising how easy it is with this uh, second gen uh, intercom. I I'm surprised. All right, so we go into settings. Uh, the last tab, High Connect service settings. So you get into a uh, High Connect phone app, you press add device and scan this right QR code. Now look what happens. No codes. No IP, no addresses, nothing. And you're in. And from here, you can see the video. Hello. It was quite a good delay this time. And you can open the door. The door is open. And when you call, you'll get calls both there and there. So, uh, isn't it perfect? Can, oh, oh, come on. Just show you all the same, the same thing, like it's 100% identical for this uh, door station. Yet, like, I mean, they're even running the same firmware. So we're, we're all good here. Kits is a uh, convenience. This is a ready-made entry-level solution right out of the box. And uh, when paired with this monitor, we can uh, on place activate all devices on the monitor itself set them the correct addresses in our network and make them fully operating and then, even with no unnecessary hassle, display it in a high connect on the phone. This is a convenience. And in our PayPal system store, you've, <laughs> we've got all parts that you might need for a security system, including these uh, intercom bundles, cameras, video recorders, and many else. And uh, thank you for watching.